They saw one, they used a teleoperator. That's somebody who is standing beside Atlas, actually controlling Atlas's arms and hands to pick up things and move them over and over and over again until Atlas can actually do it without the teleoperator moving its hands. So why does he only have three fingers? Robot hands are an extremely complex engineering problem. Human hands are incredible machines that are very versatile. We can do many, many different manipulation tasks with the same hand. And so when we design hands for Atlas, they don't look exactly like human hands, but they have a lot of the same capabilities. Here you can see that they can switch between different modes. They can act as if they were a hand with these three digits, or this digit can swing around and act more like a thumb. And this is really important because it allows the robot to have different shape grasps, to have two, two finger opposing grasps to pick up small objects, and then also make its hands very wide in order to pick up large objects. Can it sense the pressure that's needed or how much it can press on something like this? So there's tactile sensors, which give it pressure information from each of the fingers. And so you can use that as input to the neural network so that it knows how to do more fine-grained dexterous manipulation tasks. Being able to precisely control not only the shape and the motion, but the force of the grippers is actually an interesting challenge. I think there's still a lot of opportunity to improve teleoperation systems so that we can do even more dexterous manipulation tasks with robots. There is quite a bit of hype around these humanoids right now. Financial institutions predict that we will be living with millions, if not billions, of robots in our future. We're not there. Atlas is sort of the first step. Is the humanoid hype getting ahead of reality?